lecture 7b control volume form of the conservation law uh, example we will do starting with example example 6.6 .6. a mass rate of flow into a steam turbine is 1.5 kg per second and a heat transfer from the turbine is 8.5 kg the following data are known for the steam entering and leaving the turbine so the inlet condition is pressure is 2 megapascal temperature is 350 degree centigrade the velocity is 50 meter per second and the elevation from the reference plane is 6 meter the exit condition is 0.1 megapascal uh, the quality is 100 percent which means like we are in saturated vapor uh, the velocity is increased to 100 meter per second and the elevation plane is actually 3 meter so we have got a turbine which is actually uh, um, open system in which the, there is a mass entering into the system and there is a mass leaving into the uh, out of the system there will be some energy entering into the system and there will be some energy leaving the system so it this is a simple example of a steady flow energy equation the uh, the mass flow rate is given which is 1.5 kg per second say like the heat is transfer from the turbine from the turbine would mean like there would be negative heat transfer out of the system which mean like heat is actually going out of the system rather than getting into the system so looking at the steady flow energy equation we have got q minus w would be equal to me minus and that's minus m i and so on and so forth so so just a rearrange that equation in terms of this one so that means like q is here um, q is given which is over here 8.5 kilo kilowatt rate of heat transfer that means like kilojoule per second it is there is a worked uh, sorry uh, the we need to find the power so power mean like rate of doing work we need to find out uh, that is somewhere here uh, there is actually velocity inlet it is given z at inlet is given velocity exit is given z at inlet uh, z at exit is given the only unknown uh, apart from the work done we have got the enthalpy at the inlet and enthalpy at the exit we have already got the mass uh, mass as well which is 1.5 uh, as for the steady flow uh, we, the mass rate is constant throughout which is 1.5 kg per second so finding the kinetic energy finding the potential energy would be easy just putting the value and getting the answer itself uh, now finding the enthalpy at the inlet so at the inlet we have got a steam of which the condition is given so the condition is 2 mega pascal and 350 degree centigrade so obviously we will be moving to steam table and looking at steam table we have to find the 2 mega pascal so just looking at the pressure table 2 for the 2 mega pascal if you can check the saturation temperature the saturation temperature is 212.38 while our given temperature over here is 350 degree centigrade so that means like our 2 mega pascal 350 degree centigrade it is in a superheated region so going back to the superheated condition for a 2 mega pascal and that 2 mega pascal is over here 2 mega pascal and 350 degree centigrade which is somewhere at the fourth column 350 degree centigrade we have got the condition which we have got the velocity we have got the volume we have got the enthalpy and we have got the entropy so for the initial condition enthalpy at 2 mega pascal 350 degree centigrade the enthalpy is 3137.6 so going back to over here 3137.6 so might be it is using different steam table and we have got a little bit different one so we have got the in inlet enthalpy anyway so that's enthalpy is now uh, from the steam table for the exit enthalpy if we can say uh, at the exit condition we have got 0.1 mega pascal and the condition is given with the quality is x 
x is equal to 1, which means like we have got the saturated buffer state. Saturated buffer, so going back to the saturated steam table, and the saturated steam, steam table we have got to 0 0.1 megapascal somewhere here. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, it is superheated condition. So, 0 0.1 megapascal in a saturated pressure table somewhere here. We have to look at the enthalpy, and that enthalpy is Hg or Hv, it is called it over here. So, that enthalpy is over here. So, somewhere here. So, that is 2674.9. Now, going back to the question 2674.9, something, and somewhere in the book, it would be somewhere here. So, we have got the inlet condition, we have got the exit condition. We have got the inlet uh, um, kinetic energy, potential energy, exit kinetic and potential energy. So you can just put the value, get the answer, and you would be finding like the work done would be equal to 678.2 kilowatt. Um, use the per kilogram, and yes, obviously it is actually. So is uh, using different formula. You can actually use anyway. So going back to the uh, sorry, going uh, to the next uh, question. Now we have got the air which is going into the control volume now. Air have got the velocity of 20 meter per second, temperature of 260 Kelvin, and a pressure of 75 kilopascal with the mass flow rate of 500 kg per second. Flow into the jet engine. So flowing into the jet engine and it flow out as 500 meter per second velocity, 800, kilo, uh, 800 Kelvin temperature and 75 kilopascal pressure. So the pressure remain constant. What is the change in a power in flow of kinetic energy? This is just a very simple question. You have to look at what is actually required. So the required is actually change in the kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy is equal to half m c2 square minus c1 square. So we have got the inlet velocity. We have got the exit velocity. Just putting the value, getting the answer, and you have got the, the answer. Change in kinetic energy would be equal to 624 kilowatt if you are multiplying with the mass so that would be kilowatt uh, if you are not multiplying with the mass that would be kilo, kilowatt per uh, per kg so just a very simple i would say discussion on this one why the other why there are so many other information over here like this one like this one so make sure these are just like you do not if you do not need it just do not do not actually use it the only thing is actually you have to concentrate on what is actually required moving to the next question question 6.45 a small expander we have got the expander or turbine with a heat transfer so there is actually heat transfer in and out of the turbine somewhere um, has a 0 0.5 kg per second mass flow rate of helium entering at 1000 kPa of the pressure, 550 Kelvin of the temperature and it leave at 250 kilopascal of the pressure and 300 Kelvin of the temperature. The power output of the shaft is 55 kilowatt. Find the rate of heat transfer neglecting the kinetic energy so there is no need of kinetic energy and also there is no mention of the potential energy changes as well so we have we are ignoring the potential energy changes as well so that means like our equation which was q dot minus w dot is equal to m and that was enthalpy kinetic energy potential energy we are just left with the can uh, the the 
enthalpy changes from so that's the equation now so that means like for a steady flow we have got this one um just solving it for q so that means like just leaving uh just taking this work done on this side so we will be having the equation somewhere here uh, for a for a helium which is actually assuming to be an ideal gas if you remember uh change in enthalpy was equal to cp delta t so that means like we we need to find the cp of uh, helium or we need to find uh, just find it from the table anyway so for the helium cp is equal to 51 uh, 5.193 kilojoule per kg kelvin change in temperature change in temperature is inlet and exit temperature is already given so you can actually have put the value in this equation and getting the answer which is minus point nine sorry no, minus nine point nine kilowatt minus would be mean like there is energy there is a heat transfer taking out of the system so question seven six point seven nine a steam turbine receive water at 15 megapascal 600 degrees centigrade at a rate of 100 kg per second as shown in this figure in a middle section 20 kg per second is withdrawn at 2 megapascal and 350 degrees centigrade and the rest of the steam is exited at 75 kilopascal with a 95 percent quality over here assuming there is no heat transfer and no change in kinetic energy find the total turbine power output so this is definitely not uh, the mass is actually entering into the system but it is like leaving the system from two different points which is actually at state two and state three so if i'm looking at the continuity equation that would be m1 m1 dot rate of mass change is equal to m2 over here and m3 over here so it's say like 100 kg mass is entering to the system kg per second mass is entering into the system 20 kg mass kg per second mass is leaving at state 2 and the rest which is actually 80 kg per second mass is leaving the system at state 3. so let's find the first 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 of all let's find the equation for it so again looking at the equation q minus w dot would be change in q minus change in w that is, would be equal to m dot into h2 h h exit minus h inlet that is when we are talking about a simple inlet and exit when we have got one inlet and when we have got one exit there is no heat transfer yes so there is no heat transfer that would be zero so that means like kinetic and potential energy already is actually taken at zero so that means like w would be equal to m dot and h1 h inlet minus h exit so that means like just rearranging itself now the thing is like at the inlet if i'm saying let's let's assume at the inlet we have got this 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 equation would not be same as uh, for this this current problem so we have got mass at the inlet which is one mass and one enthalpy at one minus we have got enthalpy mass at the exit and enthalpy at the exit but we have got two different enthalpies and masses so that is mean like inlet would be here m m1 dot h1 minus m2 h2 and there is another mass leaving the system which is sorry m3 and h3 that means like we have got the inlet enthalpy minus the exit enthalpy 
but in uh, exit enthalpy and mass with the mass we have got m2 and we have got m3 so now that equation would be equal to w dot would be equal to this equation now now this equation become now a little bit simpler now m1 is given which is actually equal to 100 kg per second h1 which is 15 megapascal and 600 degree centigrade so 15 megapascal 600 degree centigrade just looking at the steam table you will find out that 15 megapascal 600 degree centigrade is in a superheated condition go for a superheated steam table at 15 megapascal 600 find the enthalpy and you will find this enthalpy for the same 2, two megapascal 350 degree centigrade as we have done in a, in a previous example to, at 2 megapascal the saturation temperature is around 202 something so, so 350 would be in a superheated condition so h2 is again in a superheated condition just find the superheated enthalpy at state 2 as well at state 3 we have been given pressure and we have been given quality as well so at 75 kilopascal or 0 0.075 megapascal fine enthalpy hf and hg are putting this this equation which is h3 would be equal to hf plus x hfg x over here is 95 percent quality just putting the value and you will find the enthalpy which is over here now once you find the enthalpy put all these things all all these value in this equation or the equation you have just derived now and the work done would be equal to 91.65 megawatt hope you this hope you will find this a little bit easy if there is any question do let me know in your classroom and i will uh, i will be able to find the answer thank you very much